Welcome to another product video from AlarmSystemStore.com. My name is John Burroughs and today we're going to be going over the 5822T wireless tilt switch. And basically what this is is a wireless tilt switch that you can use with the Vista series or Link series control panels uh, that you can put on a garage door and when the garage door is lifted up it registers an open condition on your alarm panel. So no more forgetting to close the garage door when you leave on and go on trips, especially if you use it in conjunction with some of the self-notifying uh, self devices that we have. Um, you can also use this with the uh, 5877 GDPK, and uh, what that is, it's a 5877 wireless relay that you can use for a garage door uh, to open and close it using a remote keychain. And uh, it also comes with a Z-Wave siren and strobe light that you can only use with the Lynx Touch with the Z-Wave card. Uh, in conjunction with the 5822, the 5877 GDPK is very useful. Um, if the garage door is lifted up and you have the proper event sequence registered in your Z-Wave module, it can set off the siren and strobe as an audio and visual communication device to let you know uh, instead of you know um, just registering an open condition on your panel. What we're going to do is I'm going to take you over to the table uh, over into the tech room and we're going to uh, learn one into a Lynx Touch system. So just follow me over there and we'll get started. All right, everybody, here we are in the programming station. We've got the Lynx L5100 up here on the wall, and we have our 5822T. This is basically a wireless tilt switch you can use on a garage door. You can use it with the Honeywell Vista series that have wireless receivers or the Lynx series panels, which are totally wireless. Uh, the 5822, used in conjunction with the 5877 GDPK, that's the uh, garage door relay that will allow you to use your keychain remote as a garage door opener also has if you have a z-wave module with this l5100 it will also give you a siren and a strobe and basically when your garage door is open you get a auto audio and visual notification that your garage door is open but you can just use this by itself if you want um, what we're going to do is we're going to learn this into the l5100 here uh, go ahead by start by pushing more and then tools Installer code, program, and then zones. And we're just going to pick any open one. Number four is open. We'll edit that. It comes factory set as a window, but we're going to change that. So go ahead and enter your, hit your serial number. And then what we're going to do is the serial number there on that white sticker starting with the A. We're going to enter that, but we'll leave off the A. So 0949038, hit save. Then we want to change the loop number to loop three. Zone description, we want to type in garage. Gallery. Gallery. Gal gar garage. Then we want to change device type to door. Response type to perimeter. Then we leave alarm report at yes, chime yes, and supervised yes. Hit save. Hit your curly arrow to back out. Yes to allow yourself to re-enter. Back again. And we're back at home screen. Now, when this is installed on the garage door, what you're going to get is this. Not ready to arm fault. And you bring it back down, ready to arm. So it's really handy for letting you know that your garage door is open if you happen to forget to lower it. Um, it's just as easy as that. Then you mount this on your door and you're ready to go. All right, back over to me for some closing words. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, it was just that easy. It's just as easy as learning any other 5800 series transmitter into a Honeywell wireless system. So, I mean, that's it's just that simple. If you have any questions, give us a call, 888-811-0727, and choose option two on the phone menu. Our tech guys will be glad to help you. My name is John Burroughs for AlarmSystemStore.com, and we'll see you soon.